I think it's remarkable how hard it's proven to be to come up with any logically consistent theory of physics which predicts only the universe that we can observe. This spherical region of space from which light has reached us so far during the 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang, and nothing else. I don't have a single colleague who takes seriously the idea that space ends here. You just have to wait a few billion years to see the light from these more distant galaxies. Um, inflation predicts that space is vastly larger than this, probably even infinite. Quantum mechanics predicts that reality is even bigger by there being alternative histories unfolding, in a sense, right here. And if the mathematical universe hypothesis that I'm a big fan of is true, then reality is grander still. It, um, if you turn this around, I think the main reason people have resisted parallel universes is just because they feel it sounds too weird. But I think that's a really, really bad argument, frankly, because what do you expect? I mean, we have intuition that evolution has given us for things which were useful for our ancestors. That's the reason we have intuition for baseball, well, for example, is because it was really useful to not get hit by rocks when people threw them at us and to be able to predict how the rocks and spears that we threw would fly and hit the antelope. And as soon as we use technology to go beyond the human scale and look at things that our ancestors had no access to, we should predict, therefore, that we shouldn't have, our intuition should break down. And we can test this. Look what happened. We look at things much smaller than the human scale, and we see particles being in multiple places at once. That's really weird. We uh, look at things much bigger than us. Black holes. If people don't feel that's weird, they haven't understood them. We look at things going much faster than the human scale, and time slows down. That's pretty weird in my book. You uh, look at things that are much hotter than the human scale, with all the particles flying around near the speed of light. You collide together some particles at CERN near the speed of light. You collide together a couple of protons, and out comes some Higgs bosons and other weird stuff. That's about as intuitive as colliding together two Volkswagens and gaining out three trains in a cruise ship. You know? So I think the verdict is already in. The reality is weird. And if we are so narrow-minded that we're only going to study theories that we think are not weird, we're never going to find the true theory.